Hello, fellow plant people. Welcome back if you're returning. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jen. I go by the Leafy Geek here and also on Instagram. I gotta be real for a second. Had a really hard couple of weeks. My August has not been awesome. <laughs> uh, between some health problems with my hound dog and some stresses, just external stresses. I mean, we're all under a little bit of pressure, a little bit extra lately, with the whole pandemic thing, but just things going on in the world, things going on in my next door neighbor's state, things just in general, coupled with just some financial and health issues that Hound Dog has kind of been experiencing, I've felt stretched really thin this month. So I'm sorry I haven't been posting as frequently as I usually do, but I just, I wanted to do another video and I wanted to make it about Hoya and I wanted to do something that genuinely relaxes me and that is repotting Hoya. So that's what I'm going to do. That's all, that's, that's all I want to do. It's going to be just super cash. Got my pots, got my supplies laid out. Sitting in kind of a new space. Well, new for filming, not new for repotting. This is my breakfast bar in my kitchen area. And I do most of my repotting here because if I don't do it outside, I'll do it here because this is a laminate floor. It's really easy to clean. So as opposed to getting dirt all over carpet. I used to uh, repot in my filming, my old filming area, which has been kind of taken over by my day job work equipment uh, because I'm gonna be working from home officially until 2021. But I am sitting here amongst my Hoya. Just show you quick what I'm looking at. Some beauties right here. Sorry if the light is kind of blasting them out. I am also sitting right under my Aspect Grow Light and while it's great for them, it's quite warm. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. It's just gonna be a, a really casual, barely edited video. I'm gonna show you what I use to repot my Hoyas. I make my own mix with uh, these three dynamic ingredients right here from Espoma. And then I have some other accoutrement I will show you. I'm planning on finally potting up some Hoya. Um, they were in my order from Glasshouse Works. It was the first order I'd ever placed with that company and was kind of taken aback because I had assumed probably my fault um, and wrongly that they were rooted cuttings. But I did not get roots with my cuttings. They were definitely unrooted and so because I had kind of paid for a price point where I had been expecting a rooted plant uh, I was kind of discouraged but I'd seen some videos I'm gonna do a big shout out to Harley G because she has a wonderful video about um, the successes she's had with her grow box um, using a plastic Tupperware container to root cuttings very very quickly uh, so I kind of followed that technique I amended it a little bit uh, and you know had individual containers of sphagnum moss with my cuttings kind of in there under a grow light and then I, <laughs> I MacGyvered a saran wrap uh, type top for that grow box. Here, let me show you. Exhibit A, the grow box. There's my saran wrap flap, and those are the cuttings I'm going to repot. So yeah, it's just plastic Tupperware container, a couple of jars of water that obviously looks like they need to be changed. I have a couple of other Hoyas in here that are kind of rehabbing a little bit. 
um, that I had gotten from some Instagram friends. And then I have a new cutting. I'm trying to save one of my Hoyas that started to decline pretty severely, pretty quickly. But those three right there in the sphagnum moss, those are the three I'm going to repot tonight. Okay, I don't know how well I'm in frame, but it's just how we're doing this. Super cash. <laughs> so I've got my Hoya right here and I will review what the names are. I, Full disclosure, I have already checked on the roots and have kind of wanted to clear a lot of the sphagnum moss off the roots as gently as I could off camera. I knew it was going to maybe take me a little while. So I did that already, <laughs> but I will show you because I will probably be shocked and impressed again as, you know, as much as I was when I checked them the first time. But first, before we kind of get into the Hoya stuff, I wanted to go over some of my equipment that I use and products that I use when I am both rooting cuttings of Hoya and also repotting. So let's just get into that. Okay, so I already mentioned that I use a Spoma and I do kind of an equal balanced mix of these three, but I lean a little bit heavy so I say equal balance, but I lean a little bit heavier on the orchid bark and the perlite that I use from Espoma. So it's kind of in general, you know, like a third, a third, a third, but I'll throw a couple extra handfuls in of this stuff when I'm, when I'm making up a batch of the soil that I use for my Hoya. So all of my epiphytes actually really use this kind of formula for their soil needs. Uh, and then the potting mix, I try and go light on if I can. I know it's it's nice and rich. Um, there's a lot of nutrients in it, but again, epiphytes like to have a lot of air around their roots. So it's kind of what I strive for. Then I usually <laughs> just mix them up into a handy dandy food bucket. I can't remember what, what this even was, if it was ice cream or what. I don't think it was ice cream but I'll mix it up. I have it labeled. I just reuse the same bucket when I make new batches of soil. It's pretty handy. I poke holes in the lid just to keep things aerated and not stagnant. Then we kind of get into some stuff. I don't know how well you can see this. I use a plastic tray. It's fairly large enough. It's large enough to contain that any spillage, you know, overspill of soil that I, being me, will distribute everywhere in my lap, etc. if I don't have one of these. So I use my tray. And then I usually keep a couple of mixing bowls that have long, they're no longer used for food. They are designated for plants um, and repotting. I have a couple of mixing bowls to dump old soil in um, if I am, you know, repotting from a smaller container to a larger container and there's soil already, you know, in that pot with that plant. In this case, we just have sphagnum moss, so we are kind of good to go. And then, of course, we have containers. These are what I use when I am potting up my Hoya cuttings. I like to have my Hoya in plastic versus terracotta. It tends to be a little bit easier for me to A, control the moisture and also um, to gauge when they need to be watered uh, a little bit better. I don't know, it's just a preference I have. I've also heard the argument with uh, terracotta may or may not damage their roots if you go to repot them. I don't really know the full argument either way, but I just, I gravitate toward plastic and I'm fine with grow pots. I use a lot of cash pose around my house. I have um, a lot of cash pose that I both purchased new or that I've thrifted or that I have repurposed um, other objects from <laughs> and they are now cash posts. So that's kind of my, my ammo with, with that. I like to, you know, 
have the ease of kind of the grow the plastic grow pot you know for the care aspects of Hoya but then you can always stick it in something pretty and it looks great so the last thing I kind of want to touch on before we get to the good part uh, is what I use to uh, root my cuttings when they come to me uh, as cuttings without roots so my preferred propagation method is the water propagation method that said I have had decidedly less success rooting Hoyas that have the woodier stems in water. I, my rot rate is pretty high uh, after trying to root certain uh, Hoya in water. I had a beautiful huge diversifolia cutting, it was like three nodes and I tried like hell to save it and I didn't have any sphagnum moss on hand. And it just, it failed. Um, I tried water a few times and then last ditch effort tried soil and it just didn't make it. So I thought with these ones, this time, I would go with that propagation box method and use sphagnum moss. Uh, so that is what I did and I'm really pleased to say that worked out really well. And then what I use, um, both with my water propagations and my sphagnum moss, propagations is a rooting powder, a hormone rooting powder. And I use the Bonide rooting powder, Bontone. And basically what this does is it speeds your roots development and it reduces the chances of the plant material rotting before the roots can establish. So it's worked pretty well for me. It's what I use. Okay. Now it's time for the fun stuff. What I think I'm gonna do is mix my soil up and I will do that, we'll speed that up just because mm, it's not that great, it's not that exciting. But then I will show you the roots on these bad boys and let you know what, the, what they are. I'll kind of do a recap of, of what Hoyas I'm repotting today. Feels good and chunky. Got a nice mix going on. It's really porous and fluffy. I like it. It's good. So I'm gonna show you some roots now. So the first one I want to show you is a subspecies of Hoya mellifluua. It's a uh, known as Hoya fraterna. I think it was its own species at one point, and it uh, was reclassified into you know, as a mellifluous subspecies. I do have a Hoya mellifluous, so I'm going to show you. This is what the cutting looks like. I hope you can see it without it being too glary. Maybe I'll just change the angle a little bit. I can see my awesome kitchen in the background. So, there's some roots going on there. Good healthy roots. And what I look for with cuttings is as soon as the roots kind of get to this length and start branching, secondary roots, that's when I know that it's probably okay to get into some soil and get growing uh, that way. Because you don't want to wait too long because if you have really long roots, sometimes it's harder for them to adapt and, and kind of convert over to soil. Uh, but I think this is gonna be perfect. So, what I'm gonna do here 
is figure out what size pot I want to use. I know, I think there's one Hoya in here that I need to use a larger pot for, so I'm going to try and save that, but let's get this camera angle back. So, again, I use these plastic grow pots. The ones from Steve's Leaves <laughs> tend to be like the perfect size for Hoya cuttings, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And again, you don't want the you don't want the pot to be too large either because you don't want to overwhelm the Hoya. You know, it just got these roots established. You know, you don't want it to kind of you know have to try and fill a huge space all of a sudden with roots. You won't get any growth on the plant itself because it'll be working on the roots all the time. And then you also run the risk of overwatering it and doing bad bad things in the name of root rot so let's get some soil in this pot and get this Hoya in soil I just use my hands too it's not like I don't have pretty nails I don't worry about it too much so I get some in the bottom can I get the Hoya situated and placed in the pot And you want to make sure that it's packed in there pretty good. You don't want it to be just flopping around in there. And because you're using such a chunky mix, you can kind of pack it in and stabilize it and it will do fine. You know, the roots will still be able to breathe. If you were just using like straight potting mix, that might be a different situation. So yeah, just kind of pack everything in. Leave a little bit of a rim for overflow if you're watering when it's dry. And then just kind of tap the sides to settle everything in and make sure that there isn't any air pockets necessarily. You don't want too many, you know, you want air around the roots, but you don't want there to be big gaps uh, because you don't want the roots to dry out either. There. One down. Hoya mellifluua subspecies fraterna. Okay, next Hoya. Let's take a look at this little guy. This is my Hoya gonolobioides. Yeah, that's right. So I am going to show you this and then we'll have a chat about it. So this guy has been my slowest rooter so far. It's a healthy looking plant. The roots are very, very small, as you can see. So what I'm thinking, but something else I've noticed with this one is that it's growing monster aerial roots off of the second node. So this is a two noder kind of, well, it's this main kind of stem kind of branched off here and deviated. There's a, there's a node right there, and then there's a node right here. Another node up here that's not doing much, but I've got roots off of two nodes right here. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could cut this off because this is also an active growth point right there. I could cut this off and try and root this part where these aerial roots are. And then I might have two cuttings instead of one. So I'm not gonna pot this one up today. I'm gonna think on that um, because when I checked today and saw that the roots were as small as they were and that it was doing this fun thing, I kind of went, mm, yeah, I might wanna reevaluate a little bit and see what exactly I wanna do with this one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stick it back in its sphagnum moss and stick it back in the grow in the the, the grow bin <laughs> and let it hang out for a little bit longer and we'll just kind of revisit it in a week or so and see where we're at that's my plan so I lied only two Hoya repotting today this one's worth it though this is worth your time so <laughs> I just want to show this to you because I pulled off the sphagnum and was like, wait, this isn't sphagnum? Like what? This is a root? 
Oh my God. So this is my prized Hoya McGillivrayi. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's a, it's a beautiful cutting. I was terrified to try and root this thing. But I want to show you these roots because oh my God, they're so good. This is why I was saying I am probably going to need a bigger container, a taller container for this one. Oh my God, like, right? So this thing went crazy <laughs> and it rooted a ton. Um, this is kind of pushing it for me when I tend to root my Hoyas up. This is getting to a place where it's like, how are you gonna do in soil, little buddy? <laughs> I, pretty optimistic, you know, just based on how this rooted, um, that we're gonna do okay and have a healthy plant. So I just gotta show you this again. It's crazy. I thought for the life of me, I thought that these were little strands of sphagnum, but nope, they are attached to the stem. They are roots. So, makes me happy. And let's just take a look at what I've got going on here. So obviously you can see, way too small. Won't get all the roots under the soil. That's what I want. So we're gonna go a couple of steps up here. I don't think this one is even gonna be big enough. Yeah, I don't wanna bend the stem too much. So we're gonna go with the big guns here. Got this one. I don't know what this is. Like, I feel like it's maybe a five incher. That's what we gotta do. We gotta put it in the five incher. So it's, yeah, it's just a little bit big, but again, there's plenty of roots to kind of accommodate for the size of the pot. So let's get it potted up. I love it. So then the last thing I'm going to do is give both of my newly repotted Hoyas a nice long drink. I tend to repot with dry soil. People kind of have mixed opinions about that. Um, for me, it's just, I feel like I have more control and it, because I use my hands, it doesn't stick to my hands as bad. Um, but I mean, to each your own, there are probably pros and cons for for wet or slightly damp or dry. But I definitely, once I get them into soil, I give them a very, very thorough watering. I water until the soil is saturated and running through the bottom. And then I will kind of pause and then do it one more time. Kind of helps the first time you you kind of water it as, from dry as it helps to kind of settle the soil in and the second time it really saturates it and i'll just let these sit and kind of acclimate we'll keep them under the grow light here the aspect light because it likes it warm and bright and it's a great light. I really appreciate having this in my house. It's helped a lot. So if you stay tuned shortly, you know, I should have kind of a companion video. I think I'm going to share some of my recent Hoyas that I had gotten from a particular company, um, show you how they're doing and kind of explain to you why I'm not repotting them today. So they're sitting right in front of me and they're awesome and I really just want to share them with you and show you how they're doing. So that's the plan for the next video. So until next time you guys, enjoy your plants.